Vsauce, I'm Jake, and how would you like to be better? We don't get a say in what our genetics say in those six billion letters of DNA that make us, us, but what if we did? Now, we might not be able to adjust our DNA like you can in the video game series Bioshock, where plasmids, gene tonics, and vigors allow you to enhance your genetics to such a degree that you're shooting out bees or electricity. But what about increasing your strength or your speed or your mind? Can you genetically enhance yourself? First, we should start by treating or preventing whatever illness we might already have using gene therapy. Let's draw this one out with ASAP Science. Simply put, gene therapy sends extra DNA into your cells in an effort to replace or fix a mutated gene. This DNA is often inserted into a virus which then acts as a vehicle to the cell. Once there, the virus binds to the cell and inserts the genetic material which replaces the damaged gene. Gene therapy has been used to treat diseases like severe combined immunodeficiency, leukemia, and Leber's congenital amaurosis, a disease that causes loss of vision. If we can replace certain genes, could we genetically enhance our own to increase something like strength? Well, we already have, in mice. Called Schwarzenegger mice, scientists injected a gene that created a specific protein, IGF-1, to increase their muscle mass by around 40%. As they aged, their strength stayed the same as when they were young. But what if we want speed? Well, there's mice for that too. They were given a gene that encoded a fat-burning protein creating marathon mice that could run faster and twice the distance of normal ones. And then, there's the mind. In 1999, researchers from Princeton University genetically modified mice called Doogie in an effort to increase their intelligence. By inserting a gene called NR2B, which stimulates a receptor in the hippocampus, the mice exhibited increased memory and ability to learn. Interestingly, as these mice aged, their intelligence remained unchanged, unlike other mice which experienced gradual declines in cognitive function. Strength, speed, and intelligence are only some of the genetic modifications successfully performed on animals, there are goats that produce spider silk, hypoallergenic cats, and a variety of glow-in-the-dark animals. But my favorite is the glowfish. Glowfish were one of the first genetically modified animals to be sold as pets. They gain their color by being given fluorescent protein genes that are found in things like jellyfish and coral. Glowfish are patented, trademarked, and owned by a company, so if we can modify and enhance animals and then market and sell them, how long until I can go to the store to get some new genes to inject and make myself stronger? And that's where things get complicated. Let's say you want to be taller. Well, there are over 180 genes that contribute to your height, so which do we change? Furthermore, exact control of where the new gene goes is limited, meaning it could negatively impact other genes. For example, out of 30 patients treated with gene therapy for severe combined immunodeficiency, five developed cancer. When experimenting on human beings, the margins for error are a lot less than on animal test subjects. So we might not be able to inject a genetic power-up right now and witness immediate results like in Bioshock, but survival of the fittest isn't solely about the strongest or the fastest, it's about who is the best adapted for their environment. And we live in a time where we are trying to adjust that environment, make it adapt to us. And with that, intelligence becomes one of the most important traits. So is there a way you could genetically improve your offspring's intelligence? Follow me over to ASAP Science by clicking here or the link at the top of the description. And as always, thanks for watching.